Visa Yab Migration Services, managed by Dr. Siros Ahmadi, invite you to watch the community TV show. This is the hub of Auckland CBD, where million dollar deals and business actions are happening every day. I will be having a chat with Mr. Clooney, an entrepreneur who's also the chairman of the Persian community in New Zealand and Australia, and we will see his points of view about the business lifestyle in New Zealand. Mr. Clooney, how are you? How are you? I'm good, thank you. You're doing well. Good. Thank you. Perfect. Hello, Mr. Clooney, and thank you very much for joining me in this interview. I'm just wondering if you could share with us a little bit more about yourself and your business experiences. I'm an entrepreneur, a TV producer, and the chairman of the Persian community in New Zealand and Australia. I have founded my uh, first media production company uh, in the year of 2000, about 22 years ago, which is called Image, and I have produced about hundreds of TV and radio programs, events and uh, commercials for the businesses and uh, government departments. Wow, that's great. So you have a vast experience in the government sector, the private sector and TV and your productions. That's great. Could you please uh, share with us a little bit about your experience specifically in New Zealand? Sure. Uh, business in New Zealand is a little bit different than uh, what we do in Iran. Uh, here we have a couple of facts we need to keep in our mind if we are immigrants from Iran in New Zealand. And then we think of doing business in New Zealand. Uh, the first fact is about the categories of the businesses, uh, which are the small businesses, medium-sized businesses, and large businesses. Uh, what we talking about business in our community is usually a meaning of the small businesses, people meaning or talking about small businesses. And uh, itself, the small businesses comes to two different categories self-employed or corporations. Corporations means um, the company between two to ten or more uh, people, employees working in one business uh, producing or providing any service to the clients. And the self-employed businesses are the businesses with only one person um, running the business. Uh, for example, like plumpers or makeup parties or photographers. This type of businesses can be uh, registered uh, as a one person limited company and uh, as well as can uh, provide service to the clients uh, similar to uh, larger businesses. The second fact which we need to uh, think of before we running or starting any business in New Zealand is the size of the market. Uh, in Iran we have about 86 million people and uh, um, um, the market is very big over there but in New Zealand we only have 5 million population and uh, the size of the market also uh, is very low. So if you are migrating from Iran to New Zealand and you have an idea to create a business you need to think of these two important facts uh, before you plan your business. And uh, I think with these uh, two facts, you can have better understanding about the next step of uh, your business plan. Of course, that was very well said. And what's your advice for the people who want to move to New Zealand for the first time and also set up a business along the way? What would be your advice? 
My advice is to not to do business in New Zealand. Uh, I think there, there are many uh, courses here. People can do a study, get a certificate, and simply apply for a job in uh, some big corporations or uh, government departments and they can uh, slowly step by step uh, create all their goals and become successful in life however if you are very passionate and you would like to create a business and enter to the business life then there are some important uh, facts you need to follow otherwise you will not be successful uh, the first important things as my experience I can see many business people here from our community they cannot speak English they don't know the language uh, speaking of the language is very important and speaking of the business language is the second important things people need to learn um, if you cannot communicate well uh, you cannot sell your products or services to the people and definitely you will not be successful in business. The second fact is to study about business. You need to learn how business works in New Zealand. Uh, there are many information in IRD website. Uh, there are lots of videos teaching step by steps how to register a business, how uh, do taxation, how uh, you need to follow up with your business uh, rules, as well as it's good to receive advice from professionals. There are many good accountants in New Zealand, uh, good lawyer or financial advisors. Uh, you can talk about your business idea to them and they advise you, is it a good plan or good idea to start? and uh, they come with calculation and with numbers and you'll be more clear about what you would like to do for your business. Once everything is good and positive for your business idea, then you have to create a business plan for the business idea you have and make sure you're focusing and you're doing every steps of your business uh, similar to the plan which has been created. Also, one more important fact in business in New Zealand, uh, not only for the new people who would like to run a business, but also for the people who currently running business, is the promotion of the business. Um, unfortunately, many business owners here in New Zealand, they don't understand the power of the advertising and promotion. And uh, they think, um, spending money, investment, the money in the ad advertising and promotion is just waste of the money and is the extra cost. But this is not true. Um, even you can see the biggest companies and biggest businesses around the world. Always they have advertising strategies and promote their business and uh, keeping the business in the high level. Uh, any business people, they need to promote their business uh, to the clients, uh, to the new clients or to the old clients to keep people uh, remembering them about their business. And in New Zealand, the good news is the government always supporting small businesses about uh, promotion costs. Uh, actually, advertising and marketing costs is tax deductible, which means if you spend this money for uh, your advertising, by end of the financial year, you can uh, receive it back from the government. So government give this service to the small businesses because would like to support businesses and help them to grow. So people can take advantage of this law and, and get the best advertise for the business and that money will come back to them and the advertising costs would be free of charge for them and it support their business to keep go forward and achieve their goals. Wow, so it takes uh, quite a bit to actually set up a business that's not as simple as people think. You know, there is a planning section, there is the actually doing the, the licenses and everything and a whole advertising 
So you need to really plan it as well. You're already saying to us, and I think that's true. And lastly, my question is, what is your advice to the people who like to uh, move to another country, move to New Zealand or to any other country? What's your advice to them? Um, my advice to the people who would like to emigrate, and uh, mostly the people who would like to move to new place for better lifestyle, uh, which is the main reason of the migrations, is uh, first to plan your life, know yourself, and see who you are, what you want in your life, uh, what, what is your occupation. And uh, after you knowing yourself, you can plan your life better. Again, you need to do research about the new uh, location, new country you would like to move in. And uh, not just pack your stuff and however, with any way, you move out of the country and go to a new country and uh, start everything from the beginning over there for uh, not knowing actual reason. If people want to have a better lifestyle or become successful, they don't really need to just immigrants or uh, move to a new country. We can, we can just uh, be successful in our own country in any locations, but uh, we have to uh, understand better and have a life plan. And uh, that way, I think you can uh, be more successful in life. Wow, that was very well said. And thank you very much for joining me in this interview. And uh, your advices were amazing. And I'm sure the people at home also took some notes and now know what to do before moving to a new country permanently or setting up a business or how to do it and when to do it. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us today? You are welcome. I have a surprise for you and the audience of the show. Uh, I would like to take you somewhere, which I think it would be very interesting. Wow, you know, I love surprises and let's take you guys there with me too. Let's go. online video. Should you have one or not? Well, clearly and concisely, yes, you definitely should. And it really doesn't matter if you're a freelancer, small business, or multinational corporate. And let me tell you why. In a nutshell, because people love them. Now, let me explain this. Basically, there are just two major steps in every business, attraction and conversion. You need to attract a visitor and convert them into a paying customer. That's it. And videos can significantly help with both steps. Let's start with attraction. Imagine that an online visitor comes across your site. There's plenty of text and images explaining what you do and how great your products or services are. But that's really not the way to grab the visitor's attention. After reading for one or two minutes, they will simply leave the site bored and you've lost the potential customer forever. Now, let's assume that instead of the boring text, you've got a one or two minute video explaining all the important stuff in a short but memorable format that viewers can actually enjoy. Studies have shown that videos are processed by the brain 60,000 times faster than text. 
so you can really give your visitors a lot of information in just a short while, which is exactly the way to earn attraction. People are also 39% more likely to share your content if it's delivered via video. This means that visitors will spread your story through social media and attract more people to visit your site. In other words, this is how you increase traffic, which is then reflected by search engines through an improved SEO rank. See? You're getting more and more attractive. Now, once you've got the attraction, let me tell you how videos help with conversion. 70% of marketers report that video converts better than other content types. Why? Because your prospects can now really see what you do or sell. Getting more detailed information leads them to making confident purchase decisions. Also, video enables you to really stand out from the crowd and strengthen your brand trustworthiness. But let me repeat the most important message here. People love videos. And you're proof. You just watched one, right? So let us help you. We can suggest the best video strategy for your business and produce it for you from start to finish. Contact us today and watch your business skyrocket.